Between January and March 2024, visits and reviews of 273 open businesses in and around Kingsheath High Street were carried out by local residents who are wheelchair users, if businesses were accessible, and by autistic individuals with sensory needs. This film highlights what good accessibility and experience looks like for real Kingsheath shoppers and visitors with access needs. Find out how becoming more inclusive is good for your bottom line, helping you grow a loyal customer base and the ability to tap into the spending power of the disabled household. It just makes good business sense. Hi, I'm a born and bred Brummie and have lived here all, most of my life. I have lived in Kingsley for the past 23 years and have brought up my children around here. There are lots of cafes that have got steps so I can't get into or have got ramps that have been built themselves that have got a gradient I can't access. And this has just got more and more frustrating in that I am restricted to a certain few venues. Hi, my name is Jo Bussey. Um, I live in Kings Heath. Um, I'm the mum of uh, a young person with a disability who's a wheelchair user. Improving access to the shops and businesses and, and venues in Kings Heath will make a massive difference to us as a family. It will mean that we can enjoy even more together about our local community, improve our choice, the experience, but also for businesses, um, it will give them the opportunity to benefit from our custom and our spending power. There's mention throughout this film about the Purple Pound, but what is it? Well, it's the spending power of disabled people and their household, and it is currently estimated to be worth £274 billion per year to UK businesses. Research shows that 75% of disabled people and their families have actually walked away from a UK business because of poor accessibility or customer service. Hello, my name's Debbie. Um, I'm a carer for two family members who are both adults and we've lived in Kings Heath since 1985. I can't let them go on their own. I have to be pushing them. So I find that once I get up ramps, that's great, they've got a ramp, but it's opening the doors, which is really, really difficult. A few of the shops, the aisles are quite narrow and it's difficult, depending on what wheelchair you're using, to get around the shops. Disability is one of the nine protected characteristics of the Equality Act 2010, and that act was put in place to protect people from discrimination across society and urges businesses, organisations to um, make reasonable adjustments based on, on whatever their business is. One in five people in the UK are disabled meaning 23% of working age adults and 45% of pension age adults are disabled. Census data shows us that within two miles of Kings Heath High Street, 26,856 local people self-identify as disabled under the Equality Act. Hello, I'm Victoria. I've lived in Kings Heath for the last 30 years. I used to be um, able-bodied as a child and as my condition has progressed, um, I rely heavily now on my wheelchair. Over the years, I've noticed um, I've noticed some changes in the high street, and with my disability, things are getting a lot harder. My name's Hannah Stewart. I live in Kings Norton, and my local shopping area is Kings Heath. Getting into shops can be problematic because they don't have the ramps so you have to shout inside to try and get somebody's attention. In March 2024 51% of businesses in and around Kings Heath High Street welcome wheelchair users as customers. How welcoming is your business? Is it wheelie friendly? Hi my name is Danny Bossy. Um, I'm a wheelchair user past 18 years. Equally the same amount of time I was a resident in Kings Heath. As someone with a high sensory needs, uh, to have an enjoyable shopping experience, I believe uh, shops should be less cluttered. Um, the it's just, items should be able to easily be accessed. Um, it should be labelled correctly. Um, everything should be set in a simple way. 
Uh, this is generally because it, it, it eases the sensor issues of being able to collect stuff, pay for stuff, also sometimes loud noises, so just generally loud noises, beeping on doors sometimes doesn't help, but overall if it's less cluttered, you have to easily get around, easy access product, that is an enjoyable shopping experience. Hi, I'm Terry, um, Terry Trung, I'm from an organisation called Home Instead. So basically we provide care and support services um, for people um, over 18, people living with dementia, helping them to promote independence. Um, I do also do a lot of um, training and um, talks across the local community around dementia awareness. So a, a customer with dementia will face a wide range of challenges when they enter into a retail environment. Quite often a client with dementia will experience memory loss or changes in cognitive function, so, which can cause confusion, anxiety, especially when they enter into a labyrinth-like layout of the retail store. One in three people born in the UK today will be diagnosed with dementia in their lifetime. So bright lights or now sound um, can be uh, overwhelming experiences um, for customers with dementia, um, which makes it very difficult for them to stay focused. Um, sheer volume of products available in the store can complicate the decision-making process. Um, even an innocuous item such as a, a dark colour mat, um, black floor mat outside a shop entrance can be can be a barrier because they could see it as a whole. So it become an additional barrier for them from going into the shops. We've talked about the purple pound, but what about the dementia pound? The value of the dementia pound, which is the spending power of households affected by dementia, is set to double to 22.7 billion pound by 2030. So the reason that we come to Coffee One so often is because it has a ramp to access, it has a door that you can lock and hook so that I can get in on my own, it's got a low counter so I can get to the staff, the staff are probably the main selling point because their customer service is fantastic. Serving from a lower counter improves interaction and shopping experience for wheelchair using customers. In March 2024, only 37% of wheelchair welcoming businesses provide one. Do you? It is easy to get around because there is lots of space and it has an accessible toilet. In March 2024, there were 39 accessible toilets available in businesses in and around Kings Heath High Street. All these businesses said that non-paying customers were welcome to use them. Do you have a loo customers can use? Why not promote this? So the reason I like Loco Lounge um, is that it's very accessible. They have a ramp entrance, which is easy to get into. It's all flat. Um, it's easy to manoeuvre without knocking into tables or people that are sitting at tables. Um, the staff are really friendly, they'll help to bring over your drinks or your food. Um, even places which have taken into consideration people in wheelchairs or scooters or limited mobility aren't always perfect. Um, this instance, for me, is a struggle to open doors. Um, heavy doors and trying to manoeuvre my wheelchair in is quite difficult. Um, an improvement that could be made is um, an automatic door which would um, help myself get in and out of the venue without asking for assistance. Also for those with push chairs this might be really handy. In March 2024, 61% of wheelchair welcoming businesses in and around Kings Heath High Street can be opened independently by a wheelchair user. If you can offer assistance, please put a sign up in your window. Both of the people I care for have hearing aids and I find that I have to repeat everything in a lot of the places that's said to, to them um, because they just can't hear, especially in coffee shops when there's noise going on. 
so hearing loops would be fantastic. In March 2024, 6% of businesses in and around Kings Heath High Street have a hearing loop induction system to enable clearer communication with hearing aid users. Uh, so I'm at Feast First, which is the All Saints Centre, and they have got a hearing loop here, which is fabulous for people, especially as a lot of elderly people come here as well. As you can see, there's loads of space to move around, especially if you're in a wheelchair. The resting places are very comfortable. They have a low counter as well as the hearing loop. In March 2024, 72% of businesses in and around Kings Heath High Street said they have chairs available for people to rest. A sign promoting your chair could help your customer feel at ease in your business. Uh, my name is Thomas Dennis and um, I'm here in Harvest Home. Now why I chose Harvest Home as one of the most accessible places for me? So I have autism and um, different disabilities with my hearing, sensory uh, input. So again it's quite quiet, you know there's some music going on sometimes. So the music's not too bad um, actually and the sound and the atmosphere is really nice. So there's no um, really um, smells that are going to be too offensive or too sensitive. Century, you know, issues with. In March 2024, 46% of businesses in and around Kings Heath High Street were identified as having a noise or lighting level, or both, that could potentially cause sensory sensitivity for some customers. Um, I think this lighting is really great because it's quite warm, it's not too it's not too bright. I think the bright lighting is where it can be a problem. So uh, white spotlights or spots, they can be really, really bright. Uh, and it can be really, really um, too much for your eye. But again, it is quite warm in here. It's quite um, minimalistic with the white. And I think that's what makes it great. And again, there's no trip hazards. I can get through everywhere without, you know, seeing, you know, seeing everything is all very laid out as you can see here and also that there's no cluttering things in the way or on the floor that i'm going to trip over i've got enough room to move about and look around the place so i think that what makes it really great this local knee strength kings heath has a, what i would call a gold standard for accessible doors as it has a wide enough berth for most chairs to get through the responsiveness of the sensor gives you enough time before driving up and driving out to be able to get in and out. The closing and opening the door is quick enough where you have to wait around and block the passage. So overall the accessible, the accessible door at the local Nisha and King's Heath is what I would call a gold standard. Well, take the kitchen garden for example. It's accessible with the wheelchair. It's enough space for the wheelchair to move around. They will open and close the doors for the wheelchair user. The staff is friendly, they brought the drinks out as there is no space in there for me to sit down at a table or because I don't want to listen to the music, I want to be out here in the fresh air. So this is a good example of how staff should behave and how the whole energy flows for disabled people instead of being crammed in, you can actually breathe out and relax. Okay, we've chosen Enki because it has an accessible entrance. It's got a ramp for us to be able to access. So Faith, um, the owner of Enki, uh, reached out to the local community being King Teeth to ask how she can make her store more accessible for those in wheelchairs as she has a step um, to enter the, enter the shop. Yeah, I think she uh, posted it on Instagram yeah, and then you answered, I answered, right, and yeah, came in. That was the first layout that was different and then I think she did it again. She's a carpenter's daughter so she builds it all herself. Ah, okay. And I don't know if you came again or someone else, no, she however, just... they you tried it all out yes and she yeah. asked how um, how the ramp should be so is it a, a shorter ramp or a longer ramp so that the gradient wasn't too steep for wheelchair users to get into the shop 
it's got a doorbell to get people's attention and the shelves and the layout of the shop are mean that people in wheelchairs can access all around the different areas. In March 2024, over 100 business entrances in and around King's Heath High Street have one step. Portable ramps can cost as little as £40. Is your business one step away from more customers? So my top tips for staff around sensor issues are to allow the person to shop and not be too overbearing. Obviously, assist them when asked, but do not harass or try to uh, overstay welcome as sometimes it can overload people. Um, obviously hover and ask if they can reach stuff, but constantly being too friendly can cause sensor issues with people and can very disencourage them from shopping there. So be there when they ask, but don't you don't need to hover. We are the same as every other shop and we don't need to help 24 7. With the staff, it would be perfect when you're in a store, you find at least one staff member on the shop floor because you can't constantly keep asking strangers to reach things down for you because you can't reach them. And strangers will give you strange looks. Others can be over nice and try and, and take over but just to have somebody on the shop floor when you need somebody you can find someone that will help you mm. instead of being lost. What does good customer service look like? Here are some tips. Disabled customers want to be treated like other customers. Speak to the person with the disabilities or access needs not to the person they are with. Don't make assumptions about what people can and cannot do for themselves. You can offer assistance, but don't assume people need your help. Have staff available to assist customers who request it. Give people breathing space. Some people need longer to process information. Offer staff disability awareness and equality training. From a business case point of view, the spending power of households who are affected by dementia, also known as Dementia Pound, is projected to a staggering of £22.7 billion by 2030. And business owners who make changes to their retail shops by making it more dementia friendly can tap into this market. It will create an enhanced shopping experience, retaining more customers. It will attract new customers, especially those who are living with dementia and also their family members and friends building their own local reputation mm -hmm. in the community and obviously bringing more revenue. So this is a win-win situation for both business owners and the customers um, that are living with dementia and their family members too. To make your business more dementia friendly, we recommend clear signage and communication, neutral flooring, avoiding strong patterns, uncluttered aisles and consistency in layout, a calm and relaxed atmosphere with a rest area. You could offer dementia awareness training to your staff to help them understand when and how they can assist and have greater patience and empathy. Improving access to shops and businesses um, for people with different needs actually improves the experience for everybody. So for example, um, a ramp would certainly help um, somebody with mobility difficulties to get into a shop or a service, but actually that would also help um, make that more accessible maybe for a parent with a buggy or, or somebody that was generally um, a bit more unsteady on their feet. If you think about access for all, then everyone benefits. Census data shows that within two miles of Kings Heath High Street, 8,803 children are aged 0 to 4 and will most likely visit the high street shops on wheels. 13,577 are aged 70 plus and with age comes an increase in mobility issues, poorer eyesight and the need to use the toilet more frequently. The social model of disability says that people are disabled by barriers in society, not by their access needs or diagnosis. Barriers can be physical, like having a step, or not having a hearing loop. Your staff's attitude towards customers can also disable them. If your business can remove barriers, 
you will not only tap into the spending power of households affected by disability or dementia, which extends to family members and friends, but you can create equality and offer disabled people more choice and independence too. So this is where this conversation started with me getting frustrated with coffee shops, bars, and it has grown into what we're trying to do, which is improve access for all along the high street.